My first guest is Bill Falloon, co-founder of an organization I've belonged to forever, it seems. Bill's Life Extension Foundation provides vital health information that is overlooked by practicing physicians. Life Extension's track record, dating back to 1980, shows they have been five to ten years ahead of conventional medicine in identifying better ways to prevent and treat disease. Bill, what exactly are doctors failing to keep up with today? Let's talk about cancer. It killed about 560,000 Americans last year, yet many of these deaths could have been prevented if oncologists utilized findings from their own medical journals. Can you give me an example of a therapy that doctors are not using today? There is an old drug called cimetidine that resulted in a 69% improved survival rate when given to colon cancer patients compared to a control group of colon cancer patients not receiving cimetidine. This study was published in the British Journal of Cancer in year 2002, yet few oncologists today recommend that their patients take this life-saving drug. When did the Life Extension Foundation start recommending it to cancer patients? Back in the 1980s, Life Extension suggested cimetidine to people with certain types of cancer. It's now sold over the counter to treat stomach acid problems. A side benefit to cimetidine is that it interferes with cancer progression via four distinct mechanisms. Are there other studies showing that cimetidine is effective against cancer? Yes, there are. Way back in 1994, a scientific journal called The Lancet published findings showing that 83% fewer cancer patients died when given cimetidine. If you go to the federal government's health database and type in cimetidine and cancer, you'll find over 1,000 published studies about it, yet virtually no oncologists are recommending this life-saving drug to their cancer patients. Why not? It's the same problem the Life Extension Foundation encountered with aspirin. Back in 1983, we were the first to recommend low-dose aspirin to reduce heart attack risk. The medical establishment viciously attacked us for suggesting something as simple as low-dose aspirin could save lives. It took us 15 years to force the FDA to recognize that aspirin does indeed prevent heart attacks. So why is conventional medicine so slow to catch on? Since there are no enormous profits to be earned with aspirin or cimetidine, pharmaceutical companies pretend that the scientific data does not exist, and hurry doctors are failing to keep up. Is this the fault of conventional doctors? No, it isn't. There are too many new scientific findings for practicing physicians to know them all. We at Life Extension bridge an important gap by providing mis missing pieces that can significantly improve one's quality of health care. Do cancer patients need a prescription for cimetidine? Not at all. They can purchase cimetidine for very little cost in grocery stores. In the cancer treatment protocols that Life Extension has published, a dosage schedule for cimetidine is listed that duplicates what was given to humans in successful clinical trials. The number of cancer patients who could potentially be saved each year with this one drug alone is staggering. How does cimetidine reduce cancer death rates so much? Well, as many people know, it's usually malignant cells that metastasize to other parts of the body that kill most cancer patients. For a cancer cell to colonize another part of the body, it has to attach itself to a blood vessel wall. Certain cancer cells adhere to a sticky material like Velcro and blood vessel walls that line our liver, lungs, and brain. Cimetidine strips the sticky Velcro from blood vessel walls, thus reducing the ability of certain types of cancer to establish metastatic colonies. This is just one of the ways that cimetidine fights cancer. So Bill, what's wrong with our medical establishment that causes them to overlook something as effective as cimetidine? The pharmaceutical industry dominates academia, the media, and of course, medical offices. New cancer drugs are costing over $100,000 and may not be as effective as cimetidine, so there is no commercial incentive to recommend it. Please know that cimetidine by itself is not a cancer cure. When combined with existing therapies, however, it greatly improves survival rates against certain types of cancer. What other drugs do you recommend to cancer patients that oncologists are failing to recognize? We at Life Extension suggest that virtually all cancer patients ask their doctor to prescribe a drug called metformin. It's approved to treat type 2 diabetes, but it also has anti-cancer properties. Those who take metformin reduce the risk of contracting cancer by 50 percent. 
Metformin also promotes weight loss in healthy people. An enormous volume of published medical research indicates that metformin helps combat virtually every aging-related disease, yet doctors only prescribe it to treat type 2 diabetes. Has Life Extension identified other effective therapies that mainstream doctors have overlooked? Yes, we have. There are enhanced treatments for virtually every disease that are overlooked by most physicians. For coronary heart disease, there are at least 17 independent risk factors, yet many cardiologists think all they need to do is prescribe a drug that lowers LDL cholesterol. The reality is that to prevent coronary atherosclerosis or keep it from getting worse, one has to make sure that they control all 17 of these vascular risk factors, which is not hard to do if one has proper blood testing. I know Life Extension has been a pioneer in recommending blood tests to detect disease risk. What do you suggest for someone who has a heart problem? Life Extension has developed comprehensive blood testing panels that people can have done at their doctor's offices. The results from these blood tests reveal an individual's heart attack risk factors. Simple steps can usually be taken to correct what is causing one's coronary arteries to clog. How does the public gain access to this life-saving information? The Life Extension Foundation has developed easy-to-follow protocols for 130 common medical problems. Anyone who contacts uh, us today is welcome to ask for up to four of these protocols that tackle challenging conditions like cancer, heart disease, depression, arthritis, or other problems their doctors are not adequately addressing. There is no cost or obligation. All people have to do is contact us and we'll send out these free protocols at no charge. For those with serious illnesses, this information can mean the difference between surviving and dying. So anyone can call Life Extension, state the medical conditions they're concerned with, and Life Extension will mail them up to four free protocols? That's correct. We compile these protocols for our Life Extension members, and we're making them available to your Select Health Club group at no charge. Anyone who has joined the Suzanne Select Health Club can call or email Life Extension, and we'll have up to four free specific protocols in their mailbox in a few days. This has been very fascinating. Thank you, Bill.